All right, I am here with a few bags from Goodwill and Thrift World. I'm gonna show you what I picked up these last few days to resell online. If you're new to my channel, my name's Heather and I go to buy the Canary Closet. On all of my social media platforms, you, you can find all of that information down below if you're interested and follow me anywhere else. Please consider subscribing if you are a reseller. I do two to three videos. Actually, I always do three videos a week, but I'm possibly changing it up soon. We'll see, depending on what I feel like doing. So. I'm gonna show you what I got recently and let you know what I think it can sell for. So I don't normally do this in my haul videos, but I thought I would try this a little bit and see if you guys like it or what you guys think. So make sure you let me know down below in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and we are gonna get into it. I think I still have all the tags and everything, so I should also be able to tell you my cost of goods, which is great. First is this J. Crew blazer. This is an older, J. Crew tag, but for certain pieces like the wool blazers, I will still get it. It's 100% wool. It is a size two and it is just like a linen, or not a linen, a wool blazer, duh. It might be the schoolboy blazer. I have not looked up the exact comps, but I know I've sold this plenty of times. This is from fall of 09, um, but I'm assuming it'll do well. I just sold a J. Crew linen blazer in the same color for $60. So J. Crew blazers can do really well. I paid $6 for this and I will just pop up after each thing, maybe over here or over here, what the current comps are or what I think I can get for it. So six bucks for that J. Crew blazer. Next was a Lululemon jacket. So I don't know how, just after a while with reselling, you can just spot Lululemon. I saw this, I felt it, and then I looked at the zipper. So if you don't see the size tag, check out the zipper because their logos are on their zippers a lot of times. This is kind of like a black and white mixed print um, jacket. And here is the logo right there. So this is kind of a half zip pullover. Normally these will have a pocket and this one has one down here and we're gonna hope that there's a size dot in there, but I'm not seeing it. So I'm gonna see if there's another pocket. Sometimes I have to guess based on measurements, which I might have to do with this because I don't see any other pockets besides that one. I'm probably gonna message my friend Keegan. He's the teen reseller and he is really good with Lululemon prints and styles, helping me find those. So I'll probably ask him, figure out what it is and then hopefully I can find sold comps. I paid $4 for this Lululemon jacket. Next, we have a pair of men's Cole Haan shoes. I just sold some men's Cole Haan golf shoes for $50. So these are the Grand OF style. These are super lightweight, good condition. They're brown with like a yellow trim. They are a men's size 10 and a half and they are $7.99. So men's Cole Haan. And the golf shoes sold super quick too. Next, we have a pair of leggings, and these are Athleta, so I am being really picky with my Athleta. These ones have the style underneath of them, the Delancey textured tight, in a size medium. I did look up comps before I got these at the store because I wanted to make sure this is something that's going to sell fairly well. I paid $4 for these leggings, and they I think the comps were between 30 and 40 but again, I'll pop it up here. So that should be good. I gave a lot of my Athleta to uh, Close Mentor and they took like basically all of it. Next is a flax skirt and this is new with tags. So I've never found flax new with tags before. It is a good like lag and look type of brand. I paid $6 for this at my Goodwill. And the bonus about this is it is a plus size. It says 2G, which I think is 2X, 100% um, linen. And they always have these funny little phrases that says, I am supportive. So 100% linen skirt. I think it's a maxi skirt. It does have pockets. It has a slit in the back. So that was really exciting. I was like, definitely, yes. I would have picked that up without new tags and probably in any size. Okay, next, a black pair of pants. These are more Athleta. These are size 10. I think these are called the Headland Hybrid pants if I don't, if I remember correctly, if I don't. Um, I paid $4 for these or 
I just sold a pair of these, I think for $27 to $30 in a different color. So these ones are black. I wish they were a like tall length because I would keep them. Athleta makes tall sizes. And so I have quite a few pairs, or not quite a few, like three pairs of their pants. Okay, next, I wasn't going to get these at first, but then I found like another pair. How do you like that sound? So this is like a goth brand, Killstar. I got both of them because I was figuring maybe they would just sell fast. Um, comps weren't like amazing, like 20 to 30 bucks on just these plain type of faux leather leggings. But some of the other styles can do a lot better. So these are just like extra shiny, latexy. So at first I was like, eh, I don't know. They were $3.99. But then I saw the red pair and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get both of them. I feel like this stuff can sell well. These ones have this little like chain buckle detail. They are the same brand, same size. They look to be in excellent condition. So I don't think there's a style number on here anywhere. I probably just have to look it up. Um, but maybe these ones will do better. I didn't look up comps for these ones. I did for the black ones. So we'll see. Very interesting. Not something that I normally sell. Okay, next, I have two pairs of Fly London sandals. So here is this brand. This brand can do pretty well for me sometimes. These are in amazing condition. They are a wedge leather lace-up, and their logo is just like this little, I almost said B. This oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. This little fly. <laughs> um, these are a size, it says 40. I don't know what their size chart is. I paid $8 for these, $7.99. Uh, so, I mean, because 40 is a size 10. Maybe it's a size 10. I put it up to my foot because I'm like 10 and a half. I don't know. I'll have to look up the size chart. But anyway, Fly London. I think the other ones might be in a different... Yeah, oh, no, they're right here. Okay, and then the other ones, probably the same person because it's the exact same style. But these ones are like a blue suede. And same thing. Got the wedge. Same size, size 40, excellent condition. Like, looks like they've hardly been worn. These ones, for some reason, were only $5.99. So, don't know why they did that. Maybe because the other ones were leather? I don't know. Let's move on. Next, I got a pair of Ufos. So, I got a pair of Ufos sandals recently. People told me that they sold theirs for way more. I saw lots of different comps but mine had like a couple of flaws. So this is a style that's kind of like this black fleecy slip-on style. I have no idea. They are a size women's 10. So we're gonna see what these go for. They were $3.98. It looks like my camera's getting ready to die, so beware if I have to pop off here. Okay, next to the pair of Crocs. The last time I had Crocs, they sold within a day. These are women's a size 11, so a great size. Black with like this shiny cap toe. And there should be a style number in here so I can look those up. These I paid $4.98 for a pair of Crocs, assuming that they would sell fast like the other ones. So I really hope they do. Okay, this store was amazing for shoes. I like got all of them and they were all the new color. These are a pair of Paul Green heels slash sandals, whatever you want to call them. They're black and brown leather. They kind of have these little studs up here, so super cute. It says they're a size six and a half, but if I remember correctly, Paul Green has kind of some weird sizing, um, so I will have to look up the size chart on that. I paid $3.98 for these Paul Green shoes, so that's an amazing price. And then the last thing I got were these pair of Fit Flops. These are an ivory, like really pretty floral kind of pearl, and they are new. They have never been worn, so I think I did pay a little bit more for those. They're a size 6, and here comes Grace. I did pay, yeah, $9.98 for these, but again, new. I was willing to pay a little higher than I normally would. Okay, let's keep moving since my camera is still alive. Next, we have a Sundance shirt. I love selling Sundance. This is a really cute thermal top. It's got these flowers. It's pink, 
crew neck, size small. I paid $4.98. So we love that. We have a white shirt by the brand IC Collection. So I learned about this. I don't even remember who it was from. Maybe McThriftsy. It's a size medium. It was $3.98. This is just a white, like, kind of interesting button. Whoa, where's the sleeve? Here it is. Long sleeve top. Um, it's kind of like loose fit, relaxed, kind of artsy sometimes. So I'm going to have to see if I can find the style name for that. But last time, I sold it a couple of times and it sold pretty quick for me before. Uh, next, I found this newest tags, Barefoot Dream. So this is exciting. Although I do have to say the Barefoot Dreams cardigans have extremely went down in value and popularity. I think they're oversaturated. Oh, hi, Grace. I'm making a video. Oh, hey. Hi, Ellie. Um, I'm going to get in the car in a minute, but Nana gave us stuff to make um, a strawberry shortcake. So okay. we have a dessert. Yeah, we could. you can bring that up in a minute. I can tell you when I'm done with this, maybe. Huh? I can tell you when I'm done with my video. Maybe. Oh, okay. It's like... Okay, but I did look up comps on this, and they were actually pretty good because I wanted to make sure, since I know the sweaters aren't doing that well anymore, it is the Long Sleeve Burnout Tee. It's in a size extra small. I paid $4.98 for this, so it's kind of funny because sometimes this thrift world is, like, really, really stupid. Like, they had a pair of New With Tags White House Black Market shorts for $30, and then you have New With Tags Barefoot Dreams for 5 Okay, there it went. It died. And I feel like with this lady, you can see my like sunglass tan. I don't really put on makeup for YouTube. Like if I happen to have it on, great. But as you can see, I'm just wearing my Huskers volleyball shirt. I was at the lake all day today playing sand volleyball with my boys team. Yesterday, I played in a tournament all day in the sun. So I really need to like get out in the sun and like even this out because it looks stupid. But you know, that usually happens to me. Okay, we are going to move on with the haul. I'm just going to film the rest of it on my phone. Uh, this is a new to me brand, but I thought I would look it up just because it looked interesting with the tag. It is crimson and clover, and it also said it's designed in Boulder, Colorado. It was $4.98 size large. This is a purple and gray sweater. I think it's merino wool, maybe. It's got thumb holes. Comps were really good on this, um, or some of these sweaters. I didn't find the exact style, but I think it was anywhere from like 35 to 50 plus. So I guess that's a good brand you guys could be on the lookout for. Uh, next, we have a pair of Carbon to Cobalt pants. I have not found this brand in quite a while. They make men's and women's. These are a women's size 10 green, kind of like straight leg chino style pants. I'll probably use military, outdoor, stuff like that in the title. Yay. Next, we have a linen shirt. By the brand Vince. I am really picky with Vince, but because this was linen and linen is doing really well for me right now, I figured I would try it. It's a size medium, black and white striped tee with a little pocket. So that's cute. And this was, oh, this was from a consignment store. I think it was $5. I They rip off the price of what you pay in the bottom. So I'm going to have to guess. I'm pretty sure that was five. And I think this one was five as well. This is an Eileen Fisher size medium blue short sleeve like boxy oversized tee. It's really cute. Um, just like a nice classic basic. So yeah I think that was five and then oh I have the receipt right here. Okay oh the Eileen Fisher sweater was eight. The Vince top was five. The carbon to cobalt pants were five and then I paid nine for this Eileen Fisher. So this one is interesting. It's a size medium. It is linen, but it has this like really big tie. Let me see if I can get it open. So it's like short sleeve, but it's got these really long ties. Like maybe it's a wrap type of style. So I'll try to see if I can figure out the style for this. I've been reselling so long and I just feel like Eileen Fisher doesn't have style numbers, but do they? Actually, there's something right down here. <laughs> I always just use my own keywords, although that always works. So it might. I'll have to look it up and see. But that was just a few things I found at a consignment store. Sometimes I find some really bougie things there, but not this time. This could be hard finding comps for. We'll see. It's Vintage Disney Store, which I pick up sometimes. I have a hard time resisting it. 
but this is so cute it's got the red mickey in one pocket and like the hand and the shoe in the other one it says forever mickey it's a full zip denim like shirt maybe i'll use shacket and the keywords and it was $3.99 yay very cute this was a definite pickup this is the brand masuk or sometimes it's exclusively masuk it does especially good for me in plus sizes which this one is it's a size 2x and here is the pattern it's got a black v-neck with these faux pockets yeah i think those aren't real pullover like knit three-quarter sleeve sweater so definite yes on that next we have a new with tags a free people jacket this is a size extra small small kind of like a bomber i think but like extremely oversized classic free people green and black color block and i paid 7.99 for that and then we have another new with tags free people possibly the same person but i don't know because it's a different size it's a size medium this retails for 128 i paid 7.99 it is a red metallic, I looked up the style of this in the store before I bought it, um, with some like little gold sequins, plaid, like oversized v-neck tunic. So that's cute, very sparkly. And then next was the soft surroundings kimono. Now usually I am not picking up soft surroundings in smaller sizes anymore. However, the kimonos always do well for me. Sadly, I sold one for $60 on eBay and it's getting returned, which is depressing, but hopefully I can sell it quickly again. It's really pretty patterns open and it doesn't have the tag, which kind of sucks, but I'm pretty sure it's silk. It feels like silk. So that's very pretty. Hopefully that will do well. I have two more bags, a pair of boots and a couple more clothing items. So these are a pair of black cowboy like harness boots they're by the brand jar or maybe j-a-r i don't know i've never heard of this but i think they will do okay they're 998 i did look up comps they look pretty good cowboy western rodeo i will use all those keywords and they have been selling really well for me lately so hoping the same for those and then we have one last bag we have and Eileen Fisher, size medium, 1X. I'm stupid. 1X, Eileen Fisher, woman. This is a pink, dark pink. Uh, just like a round neck tunic top. Very lightweight and flowy. Uh, we have a pair of Beta brand pants. These typically will sell pretty quickly for me. And this is a good size. They don't sell for as much as they used to. Um, these are navy blue I don't know the style. They look to be a straight leg, possibly a boot cut, but Beta Brand does have a tag in here that will tell me the style name and those are in like new condition. So yes, please. Oh, I just remembered as I pulled this out, somebody on my Instagram wanted a picture of this. It's a soft surrounding size, extra large orange thermal. It's a long sleeve with a pocket. It is in very good condition, like new with a slit. I did ask her to pay, I think, 30 including shipping maybe 30 plus shipping I don't know anyway I think it was 30 including shipping because I like to give my viewers like kind of good deals I would probably list this for 40 um on my own and hope to get 30 but we'll see that's cute it's in super nice condition and then I think we have one more thing here and it is another free people jacket this one is a size large so there's the free people tag it is just this oversized kind of cute little puff sleeve crop jacket. And I forgot to say how much I paid for all those things, but this one was $5.99. I will add it up and probably have some numbers here for you somewhere. Okay, so I ended up writing down how much I spent, how much profit things are selling for, how much I think I could get for them. I did subtract 20% off of fees. That's what Poshmark does. I make more money on Mercari and eBay and all of that, but it was just easier to subtract 20%. So $898 was after I took off the 20% minus the cost of goods. So 
that would leave me with a profit of $718 from these items, which is great. I might make more. I might make a little less depending on how much I take offers, but that's my numbers. Let me know if you guys like this and you like to know this kind of information. So let me know what you think of this style video. If you liked it, it is going to take me some more work to do. So hoping it'll pay off because if it gets the same views as normal thrift hauls, I'll probably just keep doing normal thrift hauls. So we will see. Thank you so much for watching. Here's whiskers. Oh, it's Isabel. Are you going to be in the video, Isabel? There she is. She's looking scared. Okay, what is that? Just, oh, that's my finger. Oh my god, what's in her fur? Anyway, I'll see you guys on Friday for a what sold video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.